All right, thanks, Stacy. On the outside, serial killer Ted Bundy appeared to be a smart and charismatic young man with a promising future, but he was living a disturbing double life. On the heels of the 30th anniversary of Bundy's execution, a two-hour 2020 event tonight on Denver 7 gives new insight into Bundy's vicious past and crimes, including murders and two escapes in Colorado. Joining me now, we have ABC's Deborah Roberts for a look at tonight's special. And Deborah, of course, here we're very interested in the Colorado connection. Uh, Bundy, of course, had victims here. He escaped from custody twice while he was here in Colorado. Does the 2020 special explore that? We look into Bundy's trail of destruction from the Pacific Northwest through Utah and to Colorado, as you say. And this is where some of his notoriety really began when he was able to escape from the clutches of authorities there, not once, but twice, as you say, from a courthouse law library. I mean, this was a guy who had the temerity to be his own lawyer. He's charged with murder and he's actually defending himself in court, which is how he was able to escape because he was in a law library. But he was also able to charm the, the guards at the mm. jails and the prisons that he was in. He was in Colorado when he was able to sort of get away from the, the, from, uh, the jail's notice at some point, lost enough weight and was able to slip through a crack in the ceiling and go on this, uh, this uh, on the lam for a little while, which is how he wound up in Florida. So you'll hear about Colorado and how uh, he uh, actually met his victims there and, and the way he sort of blended into the crowd there. What was it about Ted Bundy that nobody seemed to notice. He was a, a charming, good-looking guy, a law student, the kind of guy that a mom might have been proud to see her daughter bring home. Ambitious, you know, he just made such a great impression. But lurking behind that smile and that, that charming demeanor, investigators say, was a very evil guy, an evil mind. Tonight, you'll hear from those very investigators, many who were on the scene from the very beginning, talk about how elusive Ted Bundy was, how it was mm. difficult to pin him down, and how they eventually were able to, to catch him. And also till the very end, what was it that led to his capture? It wasn't that detectives knew that they had their guy, it was simply by accident. You'll hear tonight how he wound up actually being captured. And also from those victims, from some of those victims who escaped his clutches. Not many women lived to tell the story about having been attacked by Ted Bundy, but tonight you'll hear from some who did, you'll hear about their lives, and just kind of get inside this investigation and inside Inside the mind of this very, very elusive and fascinating, if you will, serial killer. A story that continues to fascinate 30 years after his execution, more than 40 years after the murders themselves. Thank you, uh, Deborah Roberts. And of course, we will have that 2020 special right here on Denver 7 tonight.